Hi there and welcome to another PST Tuts spoon fed Photoshop tutorial. I'm Gavin Steele and I'm going to be taking you through Alvero's How to Simulate Fractals in Photoshop. This, screen this screencast is just going to support the original tutorial over at the site where all the steps are laid out nice and clearly. So this is the file image that we're going to be aiming for. Nice fractals there. Don't forget to check out all the other videos in the video section. Okay, let's get started with Alvaro's Fractals tutorial. Load up Photoshop, go to File, New, and we're going to create a large document that could be used as a wallpaper. You might want to call it Fractals. Set it to a width of 1600, a height of 1200, and then click on OK. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that you've got nice big working real estate for your canvas. Head over to Photoshop, Preferences, Units and Rulers, and make sure your rulers are set to percent. That's what I'm using on this particular document, and then click on OK. If you can't see your rulers, head up to View, and make sure you've got rulers ticked there. OK, we're just going to drag in some guides by clicking on the left and dragging in to halfway to 50% like so, and then we're going to bring one right down to 50% down here. Okay, so the reason that we do that is so that we always know where the center of the canvas is and also helps us with positioning of the individual items for these fractals. Next thing we need to do is add a gradient. So head over to the gradient tool, select radial, the second option, and then we're going to have it go from black to a bluish color. So, from a bluish color to black, should I say. Make sure you've got the first one set to 095261. And then the second one set to 000000 black. And click on OK. And then click on OK. And then we're just going to drag out a nice big radial, like so. Just going to get that a little bit bigger. There we go. If you're seeing it the other way around, obviously if you're seeing a black circle with blue edge, make sure you've got reverse unchecked up at the top. Okay, so once we've done our background, we're going to click on New Layer. And we're going to draw the one and only thing that you need to draw in this tutorial, and that's our circle. So head over to the Ellipse tool over here. And we're going to draw it by holding down Shift and Alt in the center so that we get a nice round circle. So hold down shift click, hold down alt and just pull it out until you get a circle that you're happy with. I'm just going to zoom in on that. Okay. Now you may be looking at that and thinking, hang on a minute, he's got black selected over here as his foreground color and white as his background color. But because I've already gone through this tutorial once already, my blending options, sorry, my layer styles have all stayed on. So I'm going to double click on that layer and I'm just going to take you through the layer styles that I have selected. The first one that I put on was a gradient overlay. That's set to normal and 100%. Let's click on the color. The colors are set to the dark blue which is 074E62 and then the lighter color is set at 2196AA. Click on OK and OK. Next I added a drop shadow Okay, and that's set to 50%, 120, and so on. I'm just going to move on to the bevel and emboss, and that's set to inner bevel, smooth. The main things I changed down here were the size to 7 pixels, softened it to 12 pixels, everything else is pretty much the same. Contour set to 50%, and texture is set to scale of 305. You can play around with this. I've selected a bubbles or a cells kind of pattern. And again, you can adjust that until you get just a slight flickering or change in light. So if I move that down like so, you can see it's out of the white layers there and the dark layers around the edge. So I'm just going to click on OK, like so. Go over to the pen tool. Let's let that load. OK, once that's loaded, I'm just going to get rid of that edge. I'm going to hit Enter, like so. 
Okay, so all I did there was I double clicked on the layer, so if you've got a white circle, double click on your layer and just apply each of the settings as I've done there. And then click on OK. Okay, next thing that we need to do is we're going to duplicate that and we're going to make some circles over here, here and here, three other circles, and they're going to be slightly smaller. So if you hold down on the actual layer, drag it to duplicate it, like so. We're going to move it up to the top right, have it overlap a little bit. Command T to transform, holding down Shift. Going to reduce it in size, and then hit Enter. Now holding down Alt on that layer, I can just drag that over to this corner over here. And I can do the same for that one there. Now on the original tutorial, there's a great little diagram using a triangle okay, to help you position those three circles. I've just done it fairly roughly because I want to you know, speed through this tutorial. But if you take some time and look at the angles and get it exactly right, you're going to get a much neater final result. But I'm just going through the principles to help you with that original tutorial. So once you've got them there, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate these. We're going to merge with a new uh, with a new layer. Okay. So in fact, what I should have done, I'm just going to quickly undo the three circles that we did. Okay. We're going to create a new layer above this one with the blank layer selected. Hold down Command, click on the previous layer, and Command D will just merge those two together. Okay. So everything's been applied and it's on that layer. You can't actually see it, it's too small to see in our layers palette, but you can see that everything's been applied. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that again. So again, just duplicate it, move it to the top right somewhere like so, scale it like I did before, hold down Alt, just drag that over like so, until you get something like that. So make sure you've got two, uh, three circles going around your main circle, position them, and then what we're going to do is we're going to merge all of those layers. So you might want to make a copy of them, you might not. Click on Merge Layers, and now we've got all three, or four circles on one layer. Right, so the process is broken down to two steps, basically. The first step is we're going to copy, transform, move this down a little bit, and then we're going to repeat that process, and then we're going to do some colouring. And the second step is doing the same thing, but with the bigger piece that we create in the first step. So I'm going to zoom out, and talking about it isn't going to help. I'm just going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is... On this merge layer, we're going to hold down Command Alt T. We're going to move the center point over here to the left somewhere. Then we're going to rotate it down like so. And I'm just going to resize it slightly, holding down Shift. Just bring it in a little bit like so and hit Enter. Okay. The next neat little trick is if you hold down Command Shift. Alt and then press T, it will apply the previous transformation to all of the layers that you consequently create. So we can get a nice little tentacle that looks something like, let's see if I can get it, like that. Okay, I'm going to grab all of those layers. Hold Shift, stick them into a folder, and then call that Fractal 1, hit Enter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the folder, hide the original, merge the new group, like so. Hold down Command, Alt, T again, move the center point over. OK, 
Okay, in fact, with this one, I want to create almost like a three legged structure, a three legged tentacle. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this angle to be minus 120. So, if I just click in the, the angle up at the top here, and then we're going to set that to minus 120. And then I'm going to bring it back over like so. I'm just going to hit enter and I'm going to duplicate that layer and again I'm going to transform that like so. Gonna grab that previous one, just move it into place. Okay, until you get something that that you're happy with. I'm pretty happy with that. Then again, we're gonna select all of those, stick them into a new folder, gonna call that fractal two. Duplicate that layer, hide the original, and merge that group. Okay, now this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Command Alt T again. I'm going to just rotate this where it is, scale it down, move that over. Our original layer, maybe just bring it around just a little bit more. Each time you scale, make sure you're holding down Shift, and then let's stick that into position like so. Now, I'm going to change the color of our second one, our second three-legged beast, let's call it, by holding down Alt, coming over to our little menu down here. Still holding down Alt, I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation, left click on that. I'm going to click Use Previous Layer to create the clipping mask, and click on OK. Now when I colorize this, I'm only going to be colorizing this particular layer, or this particular group. So I'm just going to change the color to a greeny color, bring the saturation down and just make it a little bit lighter, like so, and then click on OK. And then I'm going to grab those two, stick those into a group, duplicate that group, hide the original, I'm going to right click on that, merge that group, just going to free transform that. Again, just going to move that around and holding down shift. Going to scale that. Now, again, holding down alt. Let's go back in there. I'm going to change that to another bluey color and click on OK. OK, so we're slowly building up our tentacles here and what we're going to start to do is we're going to select all of these layers and we're going to have them repeat around. So if I just select, let's turn off these because we don't need them. Oh, we need that one. And that one. Okay, so I'm going to select all of those ones that are visible. Stick them into a group. Maybe call that the large fractal. Oop, not large W. Okay, duplicate that group. the original, merge it, 
hold down Command Alt T. Going to move our centre point way over to the left. Gonna bring that down. Hit Enter, and again. All we're doing is playing around with Command, Shift, Alt, and pressing T. And you can see that we're starting to get our fractal design. With the top one, top there selected, hold down Shift. Let's take them into a folder. I'm going to resize all of that. And again, move that over to the right hand side, and that could be our finished fractal. But what I'm going to do is, whoop, that's because I've got my auto select selected at the top. You can see how annoying that can be. So let's go back up, close that group down, and make sure we've got the group selected so we can move the whole thing. Now you can make these even more complicated by duplicating that group, closing the original, merging that group, hold down Alt, sorry, Command Alt T again, move the center point again, rotate it, and scale. Hit Enter, Command Shift Alt T, you can thicken the bottom like so. Let's just undo that. Or what you can do is let's get it going along there. Again, I'm just looking at how each layer overlaps just to see if we can get a nice looking overlap. Oh, I didn't scale that down. Make sure you scale it. Merge that group. Command Alt T. Grab the center point. Rotate it. Scale it a little bit. you eventually get something that you're happy with. Let's grab all of that, drag them into a group, and resize this group right down. Can bring that one over here. This group, I'm going to free transform, flip it horizontally, have that peeling in from the left or the top left, like so. So the two main tips, and one of them I definitely didn't know about, the uh, Command Shift Option T tool, that's a really great little tip. So the first thing that you do is you just Command Alt T which basically let, creates a new layer, allows you to transform it. You're moving the center point from the middle to the left, you're rotating it, resizing it, and then you're using the previous transform and you're applying it to the next new, uh, next new layer. And all you have to do to do that is hold down Command, Shift, Option, and T, and it does it for you. The file size does, get to, uh, does start to get rather large, so make sure you're sticking them into the groups, merging the layers down. You can get rid of the other layers once you don't need them. You can have a cool little title going across the top here. And again, you're going to get lots of different effects using different shapes. You could have used a triangle, you could have used more organic shapes than a circle, and so on. But I think the overall idea is really nice, and fractals are they're appearing all over the web. So make sure you check out the original tutorial over at psdtoots or psdtuts.com, and check out all of our other videos 
in the video section. I've been Gavin Steele, taking you through this screencast. Thank you very much.